Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today let's talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and let's talk about Professor Dungeon Master talking over on Dungeon Crest about eight-page backstories and how you should not be making eight-page backstories and why long backstories are bad. Um, so I want to talk about this today and say Professor Dungeon Master is wrong. All right now, I'm going to say right now, I do, I do, I do two or three of these a year easily, where I say. Dungeon Professor Dungeon Master is wrong, and actually, I love to do these. Now, let, let's so let's let's put the stakes to the ground. I love Professor Dungeon Master's content. He's right in most of his content, right? So I don't do a video on most of his content saying he's wrong, but he's wrong every now and then. And the reason why I have started doing this is he has a lot of followers. I think he's close to a, uh, close to a hundred thousand, or uh, or recently, I think Seth Skorkowski recently passed a hundred grand. Um, but he's up there. He's got like at least seven or eight thousand followers, and uh, there are a lot of people listen to him, right? And so when he says something, people believe him and people do it, right? And as a member of the D and D community, when somebody's really wrong, I just want to say, hey, y'all need to really think about this. All right. So first of all, let's uh, let's get the obvious out here. So I'm 50 years old. I'm I'm old, I'm, I'm coming up on uh, yeah, I'm 52, right? Yes, I'm 52, right? He's in the same boat. He's either the same age as me, a little older or a little younger. But he's like, and there's a lot of us, got, you know, guys who came up and, and, and started in 1E and 2E and have been able to play literally every, he's he's just like me. He's been able to play literally every single uh, version of Dungeons & Dragons that exists, right? And all of us, we have this, this thing we need to watch out for, and that's called Geezer Grump Grump, right? Geezer Grump Grump is a very real force in the world. And when you get older, it's very tempting to be like, get off my lawn, you young kids, right? And you're like, you know, back in my day, we didn't need to all run the Harry, Harry Potter. And so in his video, he's like, hey, uh, everybody wants to be Harry Potter now, right? And you shouldn't be making a backstory that you're the chosen one like Harry Potter, right? And this is just pure geezer grump grump, in my opinion. He's a geezer, I'm a geezer, in my opinion. We're old, right? And geezer grump grump, I'm, I'm very aware of geezer grump grump, and I fight it. I fight it. And the reason why is if you don't trust and believe, you will be the saddest sack geezer whining about everything that the kids love, right? And you don't want to be there, right? And I don't think, and I think, and actually, I know, right? That he does, that he absolutely fights to make sure that he does not have all geezer grump grump energy on his channel. He actually plays with young people. He plays fifth edition, right? And I love all of that, right? But the reality is, he hasn't fought it hard enough. And this is a and this entire like long backstories are bad. It you know take that he just put up. Uh, by the way, link for his video below. Um, go check it out. I check out all his content, right? He's got a better channel than me. You should be watching it, right? Um, so, but every now and then he's wrong and I'm going to call him out when he is, right? So, so basically it, this is a powerful geezer grump grump, right? And I, and I'm, I'm calling him to remember, you know, fight it harder, dude, right? Like, and like my favorite West Coast grognard, he's all geezer grump grump. Like he just, he, every word out of his mouth is get off my lawn, you kids. Or, you know, like, it's just like, and so, so one, this whole, you know, back in my day, we just wrote down our character's name and we expected to die in five minutes, so don't write a long backstory. It's pure Geezer Grump Grump. And, and you shouldn't listen to it, and he shouldn't be doing it, right? Geezer Grump Grump needs to be fought against, not embraced. And trust and believe in the D&D community, especially on the OSR side, Geezer Grump Grump is massively celebrated, and they just, they just marinate in it. Like, and you know, now I think, I will say, I think Professor Dungeon Master is very good at bringing knowledge and wisdom from his long experience, but there are times where his geezer grump grump just spikes up, right? Like, so, and, and I feel it too, and I'm like, I, I feel that, but I'm like, you need to shut that down and focus on new stuff, innovation, and like, geezer grump grump is nothing to be celebrated. It should be actively repressed, right? And this is one of his geezer grump grump spikes, in my opinion. So here's the issue, right? This is what you need to understand. First of all, he's saying, you know, long backstories are are, are, are wrong. This is 100% incorrect. Write your, if you have, a, you as a dungeon master, you need to understand this. If you got a player showing up at your game with an eight page backstory, you better make that the focus of your campaign. And the reason why is 
whatever you had planned doesn't matter. That player character is the focus of the game, not whatever doodles you put in your stupid little notebook, right? Gary pointed us to this. He said, the player characters are the heart of the game. They are the focus of the game, right? And that lives on to this day and is called out in virtually every single Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition book because they all carry Gary's ban they, they carry the banner of Gary's legacy, right? So, so it's really critically important that you understand this. If you have a player showing up at your table with an eight-page backstory, you do not have a problem. You have buck, you have chests of possibilities. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna make that the center of your story. I don't care if you don't like it. I don't think you care if you don't think it's the greatest thing that was ever written, right? First of all, you're the dungeon master. You get to tell stories in every corner of the world. You, you declare what, what deities are there, what the deities do. You declare what every non-player character in the story does. You declare what the weather is. If you can't find spaces to tell ex, uh, exciting flourishes of the story around what the player characters are bringing, you suck and probably should not be a dungeon master, right? Like, it's just, you need to understand if you have a player showing up with an eight-page back story, they are fully engaged, right? They are on fire for Dungeons & Dragons, and you need to pour gasoline on that fire, right? So that they burn, burn, burn figuratively. And what's going to burn off? Their player shell. Duh, right? You, If you have an eight-page backstory at your table... You're looking at a Dungeon Master. Don't you see that? And I can't believe that Professor Dungeon Master doesn't see this. If you have a player bringing an eight-page backstory to your table, you're looking at a Dungeon Master. And you are the dwarf, and you are going to forge that Dungeon Master on your story anvil. Right? Get to it. You have a huge opportunity, not a problem. Right? And the reality is you are seeing massive engagement. And this is and this is one of the biggest problems in Dungeons and Dragons today. People don't understand engagement, right? Engagement is when people are asking you about your game all through the week and saying, Hey, I need this detail on this magic item. I'm I'm thinking about going in this way, you know? And I have this. I'm incredibly blessed. I we have a, a we have multiple Facebook threads, right? Per campaign. And there's stuff popping off. You know, every night after work, I go on and I and I look at those threads, right? You know, and I respond back, right? That's engagement. Eight-page backstories are massive, massive, massive engagement, right? And here we have, you know, Professor Dungeon Master saying he has a problem. The only problem is your selfishness, right? You want to tell your little story that you scrawled in your little notebook and you haven't read Sly Flourish's, you know, discover what happens. Don't tell people what happens. Professor Dungeon Master is a great Dungeon Master. He has good advice, but every now and then he is dramatically wrong, and he is dramatically wrong around this. If you find yourself with a player with an eight-page backstory, they are fully in, and they're on fire, and you need to pour the gasoline figuratively on that player so that their player shell burns off and they become a Dungeon Master, which is exactly what the game needs, right? Right? recognize engagement for what it is and don't ever see it as a problem, right? You are a deity in your worlds as a dungeon master, but you need to be a non-wrathful loving deity in these spaces and to say, how dare you bring engagement and narrative and exciting elements and, you know, and how dare you copy the most successful Harry Potter model, which outsold every book in history except the Bible, and also uh, brought forward a, an eight-movie uh, series that, that people still celebrate today. And, like, he's like, how dare you bring this incredibly successful narrative model to my game? <laughs> like, you know, like... Dungeon Master is dramatically wrong here. Don't make the same mistake he is. Recognize engagement for what it is and help these people who are on fire for Dungeons and Dragons burst forth and assume their real form, which is Dungeon Master. Why is that not clear to Professor Dungeon Master? I'd love to hear that's all that's my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinion. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider like subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.